everybody, it's only me. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing a funny hat, so it is, actually look, it is, see, it's really me. Um, so, uh, just thought I'd better give you a quick update So uh, on the car. So, made a bit of progress since the last one, but it's been a few weeks, so uh, I thought i uh, better give you an update. So, uh, if it is, stick around. So, what I've been doing over the last few weeks, not a lot to be honest. Uh, it's been very cold in here, so, uh, and also uh, had a twitch of the old uh, Omicron, so uh, we're over that now, and uh, I'm back in the garage uh, doing a few bits and bobs. So, let's have a little look at what I have been doing. Um, yeah, the suspension turrets, they look nicely blasted, don't they? Yeah, they've been in the blasting cabinet, well, one and a half has and um, so is the engine mount and you can see the uh, the rubber engine mount just just here this is not a new one it's a second hand one which I had to buy um, unseen uh, bought a pair of them off eBay and the reason is that having bought uh, brand new ones from um, a, Seco a, a reputable dealer um, I had a lot of problem with them um, and uh, I'll put some photographs up just to show you the difference in size these things that I bought they uh, they wouldn't even fit so let alone um, the quality which was pretty suspect um, so hopefully I'll be getting a refund from them and uh, I've used these second hand ones which to be fair are pretty good uh, what else have I been doing uh, yeah, there you go, the top of the radiator. I've soldered on um, a brass tube, uh, which there was a filler cap there. Um, and after a lot of uh, talking to uh, people with a lot more knowledge than me about cooling systems. Yes, Andrew Tivy from Complete Radiator Supplies. Found him on eBay. Absolutely first class chap. He uh, very helpful, very knowledgeable, and uh, he helped me to uh, understand this um, remote filler cum thermostat housing, which, if you see from the picture, it is actually uh, two separate. Well, it's you can't tell from the picture, but it is actually two separate parts. It's um, thermostat housing, which is the bit on the right, indicated by the red line, and the bit on the left where the, where the radiator cap will fit. Um, that's where you obviously fill the radiator up. And there's a tiny little hole there, which is where the – it's basically a bleed hole, and I didn't understand what it was, but um, Andrew helped me to understand that and so uh, helped me make a decision. Good chap. If you've got stuck with radiator problems, give Andrew a call. So you can see that uh, that's the final solution. Um, got a new radiator cap for it, but you can see, thanks to Andrew, it's uh, – it's, uh, quite a nice neat to uh, neat solution so there you can see the uh, the other side uh, see it's partially blasted I've still got that area to take off I might include a little bit of a blasting video clip so you can uh, see what that uh, that's looking like Uh, this is the uh, the other of the uh, second hand but serviceable uh, engine mounts, which are genuine original uh, Triumph ones. So, um, so they're, they're they're pretty good, way better than the than the than the old ones, which are actually uh, split. Uh, so the other thing which you can see down here is the uh, the first of my hoses. So that is ended up being um, a GT6 bottom hose. Uh, which I got from a place down in Kent. They're a brilliant place. Um, PS Automotive. Um, they are really, really good. Um, all I had to do was pay for the price of the hose, which was cheaper than other places, and it was free delivery, so uh, it was a bit of a no-brainer. All I've had to do is modify 
don't know if you can see the bottom bit there. Um, you probably can't see that, but where it goes on to the radiator at the bottom, I've had to uh, just cut maybe 40 millimeters off that to uh, to make it fit. Um, at the top here, um, the more observant of you will recognize that the um, this part, the thermostat housing and remote filler, is on the other way around. So this is the actual uh, configuration that I'm going to be using. Um, very interesting component this, it's like a thermostat housing which is this bit uh, and it's actually a separate um, filler, um, for radiator filler, so it's like a remote filler because uh, difficult to get down there underneath the, the radiator shell plus I needed another entry point for the for the hose so um, this off here will go, there'll be a hose going straight onto onto there uh, so that's two of my hoses sorted out uh, and the third hose will come from here round and onto this part of the um, of the radiator so this this side will be uh, obviously there is the filler so it's filler uh, straight into there and the only thing that connects the two is from this part because it's, it's blocked off inside but there's a very small vent there little vent hole what it does is as you're filling this up through the radiator and it ends up going through the bottom hose and through the pump and into the cylinder block and everything when it comes back up to here it will vent through here so it allows you to um, to fill it up uh, completely and once there's a gasket on there uh, there will still be a little hole so uh, maybe it will act as a bit of a little bit of a pressure relief but uh, not entirely sure how that bit's going to work but uh, once the thermostat in here opens that will let the hot air from the hot water from inside the engine so that thermostat will get to temperature that will open let the hot water go through into the top of the radiator there um, it will then go through the radiator uh, down and out of the bottom hose and then up through the water pump which I've just got my finger on here um, and, that, and that'll push it back through the, the, around the block uh, etc and also through the hose that will go, eventually go through to the heater so and that will be uh, kept under control by the thermostatic controlled radiator fan this ball fan which I've got um, just need to purchase the uh, adapter for another second sensor <clears throat> and looking at the website from where I'm going to get it from it has to go in the on the cool side so the outlet from the uh, from the radiator down here so I'm going to have to probably probably split this hose here and put the the sensor in in here um, which will control the uh, the electric fan but that will that will then just take care of itself so I've worked out the opening and closing temperatures for that so uh, so that's all good and the last little part of the of the problem is um, I've got a new new radiator filler cap for that so pressure relief of the <coughs> the cap when if that the pressure gets too much what it will do it will go th from this pipe here uh, round and down to the expansion bottle there so that bottle will need to be kept half full so that it will um, allow it to siphon back into the system uh, when it uh, when it cools down although I've got a few problems that's probably where, where it's going to go probably be more likely sort of sort of here uh, yeah, might put it about about there on the uh, about there on the uh, on this engine side panel because I've got some room there. Um, I've got a problem with the um, with the cap, which I'll show you. Uh, the cap for that, as you can see, there's the thread, there's the cap, goes straight down. Screw it, screw it down as long as you want 
doesn't do anything. So, uh, and then the other thing is the uh, the grommet. Clearly not the right grommet for it. You can see there. So, yeah, a few quality issues with this. Uh, really happy with the bottle. It's got Lucas England on it. Superb bottle, but what I don't know is if the problem is with the bottle or with the cap. So I suspect it's uh, it's with the cap. Um, incidentally, these were on back order, so I suspect there's an awful lot of people that have got the same problem as me, because these um, are a standard fit expansion bottle for virtually the whole of the Triumph range. Um, so. Yeah, that's a problem for uh, this unnamed, reputable um, car part supplier. Oh well. Um, so that's that. Uh, another little discovery this week. <laughs> if you can see uh, the flange there, the uh, the uh, the flange between the um, the bell housing and the back of the engine plate, uh, there's no bolts in it. Um, Goodness knows where they've gone. So uh, I've had to order a whole set of. Uh, well, I've added it to my list of, uh, of bolts, um, which has gone to uh, to Arquel fasteners. And um, I've got Paul at Arquel, who's uh, who's busy at the moment, um, putting all those parts together for me. This has been my uh, my view for quite a while now, uh, underneath the front of the car. Radiator. You can see the uh, the bottom hose there. I've had to I've had to clear out this uh, this uh, bracket here, so I've, re I've I've cleared a space on that for the rubber to to pass. Well, it's a little bit close there. Mind the radiator's not in the correct position yet. That's got to come further forward. So uh, what I'll be doing is move making a replacement to uh, more substantial angle iron. Uh, piece which will go up up the side of the radiator and pick up on the that's the lower of the three bolts pick up on the three bolts and then this will come forward to there and it will continue down to the bottom piece of this angle line so so this piece will continue down to there and uh, it will be welded to the front of that and then go straight up at that at that angle that's the that's the correct angle there you can see that's the correct angle and that will go straight up and pick up the three bolts for the up the side there pick up the same three bolts for the actual radiator another part i discovered was missing uh, those two bolts there and there which hold the front suspension tower onto the onto the chassis um, that set was missing, so uh, I've ordered. I ordered them from uh, Spitbits down in uh, down in uh, in Surrey. Uh, great for any parts that you have got missing on your on your car. Um, I'll put a link to them in the, under the video at the end of the video as well. So, yeah, great, very helpful. The other thing I'm working on at the moment, and will be as soon as I finished uploading this video, is uh, that there, which is the front radiator uh, the front mount on the back of the radiator um, I've got to get the height right on that uh, so the position is correct I'm happy with that um, but as you can see on the fit of the bonnet it's a little bit high the uh, the catches will pull it down but uh, it's a little bit too high so it's quite a nice quite a nice uh, gap just there but uh, here, it's uh, it's quite a gap. So, so that needs to be lowered slightly. Uh, it's more evident on this side. Um, so, yeah, that's the current thing I'm working on, as we speak. So there you have it. Um, bit of a quick update. Um, but better crack on. I've got plenty more to be getting on with. So, uh, stay tuned and um, hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Cheers. Bye.